So what about sketching like this? I like to make some very quick marks on the paper usually, just uh, with some pencil, it's like a watercolour pencil, just to get the surface moving, something happening on the paper so that I can have something to react to. I don't really want to put too much on too soon. I don't really like the drawing in my paintings and sketches to get resolved too quickly. I find if you do that and you're always working up to lines and uh, you don't give the paintings and sketches freedom to develop As you can see, I'm just trying to get the sketch moving with some drawn marks, the painted mark, letting the, some of the paint run. I think it's nice to uh, let the materials that you're working with behave in the way they want to and you know, if they're water based and a bit runny then you should let them behave in that way and then you can have the paint do some of the work for you it's quite nice out here today it's a bit chilly still with the snow around but it's uh, it's pretty fresh and the light's nice move around uh, the side of a copse of trees to get out of the wind. Actually the temperature is not too bad but in the wind it's pretty difficult to cope with. So I think uh, a lot of the time when you're outside painting you can struggle with the elements a little bit. But often that can yield some interesting results when you're to fight with your materials a little bit to get something down and the paper's blowing around all over the place. Sometimes if you're a little bit uncomfortable you can actually make things a bit more interesting. You get more energy going in the sketch and the paintings than you do if, uh, if you're sitting comfortably in a nice warm field or something and enjoy being outside. I think after all the snow, the rain, all the bad weather we've had recently, it's just nice to be outside. I think to let some of that come across in the painting. So I think I said in one of my previous short films I made, all my work's really about the experience of being outside in the landscape. And so I really think that needs to come across, you know, that's, that's the thing I want to come across. I don't particularly care exactly where everything is, whether I get walls and hills and trees exactly in the right place. I think sometimes it can be important, but I think there's a difference between making pictures making paintings and sketches where you're trying to get a feeling of the place that you're in. I think for a first one I might just leave it there, move on to another one. Like I said I'd like to keep them nice and light. I don't know it'll work them too much. I think sometimes if you just spot something like that I just want to pull it out. 
make a little bit more of a shape that I've found while I'm sketching. Just put that to the side for now. And for this next one, I just want to get the surface moving. I always like to try and point myself in a slightly different direction each time I do one of these little sketches. I think uh, in there they often have a, you know, when you're in a particular location, they're going to have a, a feel of the, that place about them. All, you know, all the sketches are going to have a feel of that place. It's always good to have a look around. And, you know, I like to just look in different directions rather than pointing myself in the same place the whole time and you end up just with a you know a series of sketches that you know all of exactly the same thing. It's quite a nice uh band of shadowy stuff going on in the middle of the, the painting. But I think it's quite useful when I'm painting to, to see something quite simple, like I'm talking about this, uh, this darker band of shadowy area and actually just make each sketch about one thing so it's got a, a simple idea running through it and I think often if you get lost you know when I get lost in a painting you're not quite sure where it's going or what you want to do with it you had a, an idea at the beginning, a, a sort of quite strong, simple visual idea at the beginning of the painting. You can just keep coming back to that, pulling it back to that idea. quite difficult to be creative, think creatively when you're you're outside. And I, I don't know, that's, that can be quite a good thing in a way sometimes because you just do things, you just kind of react to them. You know, thinking too much about where it might go or what you're gonna do with it later. And just let it happen. Think about it later on back at the studio. One, and I think that often happens is that you start to get a bit more, a bit bolder, a bit more, um, a bit more free with the paint as you go on through a session of painting like this. Um, so, look, I wanted to come back to that idea that I had at the very beginning. The idea of this dark band of strong shadow right through the center of the sketch. Gives it a load of contrast. I'm starting to paint some of the foreground areas by using the, kind of almost carving the shape out using this dark shadowy bit that's behind. Could do a bit of texture in it so just make some scratchy 
on the marks. There is actually some snow over there, which is up against the walls. Some fields. And these sort of uh, very light marks. I think there's all sorts of things like that that I try and do to stop me doing getting too fiddly too early on. Just, just try and find some interesting things out there and just put them down on the page. <laughs> 